Hey everyone, Dr. Clark here. I want to tell you today why some people that take T3 or Cytomel may feel immediately more hypothyroid uh, after taking the medication. And you may think to yourself, well, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, I'm, I'm being prescribed T3 or Cytomel uh, because I am hypothyroid. Why would taking that give me more hypothyroid symptoms like gaining weight immediately, being more fatigued, more depressed, and more constipated? And I'm sharing this because I'm sharing this with you because I see a significant number of people that come into my practice that are taking it. And it says right in their history, uh, you know, I started taking this and felt worse within a couple of days. And so when I see them, they've either said, hey, forget that, I'm not taking it, or they've tried to stick it out because the well meaning doctor they've worked with said, well, you know, that, that can't happen. And it can happen. It happens for two reasons. Uh, the first reason is, is that you know most of these people are being you know, they're being prescribed it because they feel bad. You know they have hypothyroid symptoms. Well, the first thing to understand is that the number one cause of hypothyroidism in America is an autoimmune condition called Hashimoto's. And one of the side effects of having Hashimoto's is you get problems with downstream uh, thyroid hormone uh, chemistry. The primary thing that happens in Hashimoto's is you get destruction of your thyroid gland so that ultimately, you know, your ability to make T4 and T3 goes down. So just so you know, to kind of put the, the, the uh, physiology in place, you know, T4 is inactive. It doesn't do anything. You have to convert T4 into T3. T3 is the active form. Well, that process from, you know, making T4 into T3 is called conversion. And a lot of people with Hashimoto's have conversion problems because conversion is altered and you know uh, made abnormal by inflammation. And if there's one thing you know about, I can tell you about Hashimoto's, because it is an autoimmune condition, there's a ton of inflammation going on. And these inflammatory chemicals called cytokines, uh, they will block and disturb this conversion. So usually what happens is a woman will you know, start feeling fatigued or regaining weight even though she's working out and eating low-calorie diet. She'll eventually make it into her doctor, her GP, or whoever gets, the endocrinologist maybe, who uh, maybe does a TSH and a T4 test, and she gets diagnosed as hypothyroid. Now, most of these women never get tested for Hashimoto's. I mean, never, because it doesn't change what the medical doctor is going to do for them. Uh, they're just going to give them replacement hormones. But whether or not you've got Hashimoto's is the critical question uh, that's going to, the answer that's going to determine whether you're going to feel better or not. Because taking the hormones doesn't do anything for the autoimmune process. It does help you perhaps replace some of the hormones you're losing, but it doesn't put out the fire that's burning. So a woman goes in, she gets diagnosed, she gets put on Synthroid or Levothyroxine, maybe a month or two later goes by, and either she doesn't feel better or the labs don't look like what doctor wants, and so they say, you know, a, a smarter doctor will say, it looks like you may have a conversion problem. Uh, the T4 is not working by itself, let's put you on some T3. And so she goes on T3. Now, about half the time, a woman will go on the T3 and she'll feel a little bit better. But the other half of the time, based on what I see in my office, she doesn't feel better. She starts to feel worse. She gets more hypothyroid. How could that happen? Well, here's why. It's impossible to mimic your body's natural rhythm and release of T3. I mean, you just can't do it. So one of the things that happens when you take T3, especially if you don't really have a need for T3, is you bombard the receptors for T3 so much that they shut down. These receptors are like little antenna, and they're tolerant for a certain amount of T3, but if you just flood them, then they shut down and become resistant, and then you don't get the benefit of the T3, so you really do become more hypothyroid. But your blood levels will look okay. Your blood levels, your lab tests will look okay, but you will not feel okay. And so you will become more hypothyroid and put on weight and have more hypothyroid symptoms. That's called resistance, okay? That's what I see uh, happening a lot of the time. Now, the other reason why you could take that and not feel better is because you just never addressed the Hashimoto's process in the first place. You know, if the Hashimoto's is really messing with your conversion and you take T3, it still may not do much for you. So the takeaway message I want you to understand is, if you've taken Cytomel or T3 in the past and you really haven't felt better or maybe even felt worse, that's one reason that could happen. Now, another reason is you could already be making antibodies to your own T3. You know, antibodies are what, you, what your immune system makes to attach onto something that is trying to kill. So you may have undiagnosed Hashimoto's that has, trans, that, is, that has progressed to you and now attacking your own hormones, not just the gland, but the hormones themselves. So it, it's critical 
critical that you be working with someone that understands these concepts I just talked to you about because um, all doctors are well-meaning, but some of them just don't know. They're just not trained enough to understand that that could happen. So that's why taking T3 could make you feel worse. Uh, resistance, and maybe you're already making antibodies and you just put more wood on the fire.